in this video we can discuss about anti amoebic drugs here we will discuss the definition classification mechanism of actions of important classes of anti amoebic drugs adverse drug reaction and uses of anti amoebic drugs so from the word itself we can understand anti amoebic drugs are the drugs which are used in amoebiasis or which is a protozoal infection which is caused by endamoeba histolytica and the important anti amoebic drugs are metronidazole tinidazole secnidazole ornidazole satranidazole emetin and dehydroemetins anti amoebic drug is classified into tissue amoebocytes and luminal amoebocytes tissue amoebocytes is again classified into amoebocyte for intestinal and extra intestinal amoebiasis and for extra intestinal amoebiasis for intestinal and extra intestinal amoebiasis it is again classified into nitroimidazole and alkaloids emitting and dehydroemitting are example for alkaloid and metronidazole tinidazole secnidazole ornidazole satranidazole are example for nitroimidazole and chloroquine is an example for extra intestinal amoebiasis only now another classification of anti amoebic drug is luminal amoebocyte it is again classified into amide like di diloxinide furate and nitazoxanide then eight hydroxy quinolones like quinidoclo dihydroxy quinolone and antibiotic like tetracycline and paromycin so this is the classification of anti amoebic drugs now coming to the important drugs in the anti amoebic drug that is metronidazole so mechanism of action of metronidazole is metronidazole will be converted to active metabolite which is a cytotoxic by nitro reductase enzyme and this active metabolite will bind with the dna of the microorganism that is a protozoa and thereby it will inhibit the protein synthesis so it will inhibit the nucleic acid synthesis by disrupting dna of microbial cell that is the mechanism of action of metronidazole now coming to the adverse drug reactions metallic taste anorexia nausea epigastric distress these are the important adverse drug reaction which will affect on gastrointestinal tract then some allergic reaction dizziness prolonged administration may cause peripheral neuropathy and cns effects are the important adverse drug reactions and this will increases the toxicity of warfarin and lithium and it will also produce a disulfuram like intolerance to alcohol these are the important drug interactions of metronidazole now let's see what are the uses of metronidazole metronidazole is an anti amoebic drug so it can be used for the treatment of different amoebiasis which are caused by different protozoa so this is used for the amoebiasis giardiasis trichoma vaginitis anaerobic bacterial infection pseudo membranous enterocolitis acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis helicobacter pylori gastritis as well as peptic ulcer kidney worm infestation so these are the uses of metronidazole now coming to next important drug in the anti amoebic group of antimicrobial is emitting and dehydroemetins these are highly toxic compound which are used only when metronidazole is contraindicated and emetin is an agent which will produce homocysteine because it is an irritant so it can be only administered by subcutaneous or im route now coming to the mechanism of action 
emitting and dehydro emitting will act by inhibiting protein synthesis in amoeba by arresting the intra ribosomal translocation of tRNA amino acid complexes. So that is the mechanism. Now coming to the adverse drug reaction, this is a local irritant and it have high systemic toxicity also. So these are used rarely and coming to the uses of emitting and dehydro emitting, these are used rarely due to its toxic effects and this is used for the acute amoebic dysentery or amoebic liver abscess only in patients which are not tolerating metroprednisone. So that is the emitting and dehydro emitting. Now another important anti-amoebic drug is tinidazole which is equally efficacious and conquer of metronidazole and these are act by same mechanism of that of metronidazole and these are mainly used for the intestinal amoebiasis, amoebic liver abscess, anaerobic infections and H. pylori infection. Now another important drug is chloroquine and diloxinate furate. Chloroquine will kill protozoates of endamoeba histolytica, which is usually uh, high concentrated in liver. So this chloroquine can be specifically used for the hepatic amoebiosis only. Then dilonoxide furate, it is a highly effective luminal amoebiocyte which directly kill trophocytes responsible for the production of cyst. So that is anti-amoebic drugs. So uh, amoxicillin is uh, resistant towards anaerobic bacteria and metronidazole can be used against the anaerobic bacteria. So that is all about the anti-amoebic drugs classification, mechanism of action, ADR and uses and an uh, important drug in the anti-amoebic drug is metronidazole and emitting. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.